Hey everybody, I'm Mr. MathLog here. This uh, lesson is problem solving with fractions and mi mixed numbers. So uh, don't forget all your lessons can be found at uh, MrMathLog.com. So how do we uh, solve word problems that involve more than one uh, operation with fractions? So here we go. So solving uh, problems with rational numbers. Rational numbers typically means fractions or decimals. Uh, but that's what a rational number is, a fraction or a decimal or a whole number or integer because any integer can be expressed over one. So anyway, so sometimes uh, more than one operation will be needed to solve multi-step problems. And so what we can do is use parentheses to group different operations. And, and remember that according to the order of operations, we perform the uh, operations in parentheses first. So here's an example right here. So Pat is cooking enough lentils for lentil barley soup and lentil salad. Uh, and then the lentil barley soup recipe calls for three-fourths cup of dried lentils, and the lentil salad uh, recipe calls for one and a half cups of dried lentils. So Pat has a one-eighth uh, cup scoop. So how many scoops of dried lentils will Pat need to have enough for the soup and the salad? Okay, so what we're going to do is um, uh, first analyze our problem here and take out the information. So Pat needs three-fourths of a cup of lentils for the soup and one and a half cups uh, for the salad. So we're going to add these two together to get our total amount of dried lentils that Pat needs. Okay, and then and then we're going to take that and divide it by the one-eighth uh, cup scoop. Okay, so... So we need to find the total number of scoops of lentil uh, lentils that Pat needs. Okay, so I'll, I'll slide this piece up right here. So we're going to formulate a plan. Let me just slide that up real quick, okay? So we can use the expression. So um, here's for the soup and here's for the salad right here for the dried lentils. So we're going to add these two together first to get the, the total number of dried lentils that Pat has. And then since the scoop only uh, holds one-eighth of a cup, we're going to divide that total, divide by one-eighth to find the number of scoops scoops needed for the soup and the salad right there, okay? All right, so let's follow the order of operations. we got to do what's inside these parentheses first, so let's go ahead and add three-fourths plus one-and-a-half, okay? And then, uh, so now we're going to get a common denominator. So if we multiply this one by 2 over 2, it'll get us 4 in the denominator, which will be common with this 4 in the denominator. So this will be 1 and 2 fourths right there. So we're going to go ahead and add, um, oh, I changed it to an improper fraction. That's okay. And then we'll multiply it by 2 over 2. Sorry about that. So anyway, you could have done that also. So uh, 3 fourths, now we'll multiply this by 2 over 2. So that's going to get us 6 fourths right there. So both ways are okay. And then, uh, so now we can do 3 fourths plus 6 fourths is going to get us 9 fourths. Okay, and then we'll change this back into a, a mixed number. So 4 goes into 9 2 times. 2 times 4 is 8. So 1 is left over. So it's going to give us uh, 2 and 1 fourth. So Pat uh, needs 2 and a fourth cups of lentils for both the soup and the salad right there. All right, so now we need to find out how many 1 8 cup scoops um, uh, that Pat needs. Okay, so to do this, we're going to take that total and then divide it by the 1 8 right there. Okay, so here we go. So 2 and a fourth divided by 1 8. Let's go ahead and change that back into an improper fraction or fraction greater than 1 your textbook likes to do. So 4 times 2 is 8 and then 8 plus 1 is 9. So here's 9 fourths divided by 1 8 and then we do the keep change flip. Okay, keep this the same, change this to a multiply, and flip this. So keep, change, flip, and then we can cancel. 4 goes into 4 once, into 8 twice. So we're left with 9 times 2, which is 18, over 1 times 1. So 18 scoops right there. So Pat uh, will need 18 scoops of dried lentils to have enough for both the lentil barley soup and the lentil salad. Yum, yum. Okay, so here's what we did right here. So we first added the three-fourths and, and the one and one-half right here to find the total amount of scoops of lentils right there, okay? Uh, the total number of cups, I'm sorry. And then uh, since um, uh, the scooper only does uh, one-eighth of a cup right there, then we took that total right there and we divided it by one-eighth right there. So added them together to get two and a fourth and then changed it back to an improper fraction or a number or fraction greater than one and then we did keep change flip and we found out that there was going to give us 18 scoops right there. Okay, so let's try another one here. So before making some soup, a chef mixes one half cup of cream with three uh, fourths cup of milk. And then I don't know why they changed it from a chef to a scientist, but I guess they are a scientist. So chefs, uh, they, they experiment a lot. So 
I got good at cooking when I was in college. I experimented a lot, and some of them were bad experiments, and some of them were pretty good. Anyway, so uh, so yeah, I guess a chef is a scientist. So if the scientist uses one eighth cup of a combined liquids to make one batch of the soup, how many batches of soup can be made? Okay, all right. So so we did a half a cup of cream. Um, uh, and we added it to three-fourths of a cup of, of milk. We're going to find out how many total cups that are, and then we'll divide it uh, by one-eighth. So it's the same kind of setup here. So the chef mixes one-half of a cup of cream with three-fourths cup of milk, and she'll divide that total by one-eighth of a cup to make uh, each batch of soup right there. Okay. So uh, we're going to use the expression uh, one-half plus three-fourths to find the total cups of liquid that we have in there and divide it by one-eighth, and that'll tell, me, tell us how many many batches of soup right there okay let's go ahead and do the parentheses first okay all right so the common denominator is four so we'll just take this and multiply it by two over two and so it's going to give us two fourths right there and then so two fourths plus three fourths is five fourths so we take that five fourths now we could have changed this to one and one fourth but we have to remember we changed it back to a improper fraction or a fraction greater than one uh, so we just left it like that and now we're going to do keep change flip right there so keep change flip it's going to give us five fourths times eight over one and then four goes into four once into eight twice so we're left with five times two over one times one so it's going to give us um, uh, ten batches of soup right there okay all right getting the idea right there so let's describe a real world problem so we're going to make one up that we could solve using more than one fraction operation and show how to solve the problem okay i'm going to do a little subtraction one this time so here's the uh, the one i did so and I like brownies, I like cookies too. So uh, we have six and a half pans of brownies and give one fourth of a pan to your favorite math teacher, Mr. Bullock. And then you want to cut the remaining brownies into pieces that are an eighth inch of the size of a pan. So how many of these pieces will you make? Okay, so we have we started with six and a half and then we give a quarter, six and a half pans, and then we give a quarter pan to Mr. Bullock. So we're going to take uh, this and we're going to subtract that off, and then we're going to take the rest of that, which is going to be the rest of that when you subtract it, and you're going to divide it by uh, an eighth right there. Okay, so there we go. All right, and then um, uh, multiply this by two over two to do the parentheses first right here. So two over two is going to give us six and two fourths right here. We can change this to an improper fraction if you want, or a fraction greater than one. But I think, yeah, I just changed it to um, multiply this fraction by 2 over 2, so that's going to get us 2 over 4. Okay, and then now these are common denominators right here. So 2 over 4 minus 1 over 4 gives us 1 over 4. Here's that 6 right there. So this equals 6 and 1 fourth, and then divided by 1 eighth. So now we're going to do um, uh, change it to an improper fraction here, or fraction greater than 1, 25 fourths divided by 1 eighth. Keep change flip. And then so now we're going to go ahead and cancel right there, and we're left with um, uh, there's going to give us 50 pan size pieces right there. All right, you guys. Hey, if this uh, lesson makes sense, would you click like and take care, you guys?